Are zebras black with white stripes or white with black stripes? Animal Camouflage Image Gallery Perhaps Michael Jackson was thinking of zebras when he wrote the song Black or White. Before the solid-coated and dabbled thoroughbreds that usually come to mind when we hear the word horse, there was the zebra. One of the oldest members of the horse family, the African zebra, seems far more exotic than common horses and donkeys. However, it closely resembles the earliest equine ancestors. Zoologists have yet to unravel all of the genetic mysteries that lie behind the zebra's signature striped suit. The alternating color pattern works well with its native environment, deflecting up to 70% of the heat that hits its body. The arrangement of the stripes adds another intriguing dimension to the animal's biology since each zebra has a completely unique design. In particular, the stripes on its shoulders, or withers, contain the most individualized markings. If you wear a zebra print outfit in a crowd, it nearly guarantees that someone will easily spot you. In the jungle, however, a zebra's stripes actually work as a camouflage to deter its main predators, lions and hyenas. Since the animals herd together, experts believe that the massive stripes can confuse the predators by acting as an optical illusion that blends their figures together. Consequently, a group of ten zebras may look like a giant stripe block that a lion wouldn't want to take on solo. For more detailed information about this natural disguise, see how the zebra's stripes act as camouflage. By and large, these onglets, or hooked animals, prefer to pal around together rather than alone, migrating as far as 300 miles or 482 kilometers to graze. Even before mating, clusters of bachelor zebras will eat together. Then, stallions will lead a number of female zebras, called a harem. Their unique stripes promote this social behavior since they can tell each other apart. Even if you aren't an equine specialist, you can easily spot a zebra from its telltale black and white color scheme. But which is it? Black on white or white on black? What color is a zebra? Grebe zebras have narrower stripes and black stripes running down their spines. Genetics determine the variety of stripes in zebras. While the specific processing of determining this stripping pattern isn't known, it has something to do with selective pigmentation. Melanocyte skin cells produce the pigments that color the fur. Certain chemical messengers regulate which melanocytes deliver their pigment to the zebra. Mathematical models haven't been able to accurately simulate the development of the pattern, but we do know that it takes place during the embryonic phase. Speaking of stripes, that brings us to the age-old question, what color is a zebra? If you research this answer, you'll quickly discover many conflicting perspectives. But Lisa Smith, curator of large mammals at Zoo Atlanta, reports that the coat is often described as black with white stripes. This makes sense since the pattern is a result of pigment activation, black, and inhibition, white. That means black is the actual color of the fur, and the white patches are simply the areas that lack pigmentation. To top it off, most zebras have dark skin beneath their fur. Although zebras share similar stripe patterns and the same general appearance, a closer examination of their coats reveals distinct differences among the three existing species. Burkles are plain zebras Erex burkali. These are the most populous zebra species, found in northern Kenya. Their broader stripes fade to grey, called shadow stripping, as they move down the body. Their legs feature a lot of white as well. Grebe zebras erect scrape. These zebras have the largest build and are found in northern Kenya as well. They have narrower stripes with definitive black stripes slicing down the middle of their backs and white bellies. Because drought and an increasing human population have severely reduced their numbers, the World Conservation Union lists Grebe zebra as an endangered species. Mountain zebras, Equ zebra, found in southern Angola and Namibia, mountain zebras are the least common of the species. A square flap of skin on their throats distinguish these zebras from the other two species. They also sport wide stripes against a cream-colored background, the quagga. The extinct quagga, a subspecies of the plains zebra, lived in South Africa and was originally thought to be its own separate species because of its unique coloring. This equine looked like a cross between a horse and a zebra since its head and neck was striped and faded into a solid coat toward its front. The last quagga died in a zoo in 1883. Scientists have retrieved DNA from preserved quagga pelts, and efforts are underway to revive the subspecies in South Africa. Cool information isn't it? Hey! What do you think about unicorn? Because of course. They are mostly related to the horse species. What do you think about it let us know in comment section. If you like this video then hit the like button and share this video with your friends. And one more thing, don't forget to subscribe.
and stay curious and keep learning.